Hello and welcome to the Client Dispute Manager software video series. Join me as I go through the process of creating a dispute letter for the collectors using the software. And that's coming right up. Hi there, we're giving you a free gift. You can get 20 powerful dispute letters just by clicking on the link below this video. You're going to see a screen just like this, and all you need to do is just fill out the form to get your 20 powerful dispute letters. Enjoy! Have you ever found yourself stuck or having a hard time disputing with the debt collectors? Watch me go through the step-by-step -step of creating a dispute letter using our software. First, you want to go ahead and prepare everything that you need. So let me go ahead and show you how you're going to import a credit report in the Client Dispute Manager software. Now before we go ahead and go through the screen, just a quick disclaimer, account names and numbers in this video are only fictional and for illustrative purposes only. Now let's go ahead and get right to it. To import from the main menu, just go to Dispute Manager and then from the drop down, just go to Dispute Manager. Once you get to the Dispute Manager screen, you want to go ahead and click on Import Report and on this tab, this is where you're going to import your credit report. Now beforehand, you want to go ahead and make sure that your customers sign up for credit monitoring. And these are the credit monitoring companies that are compatible with the software. So all you need to do is just have your customer sign up. They need to sign up for the 3B report option. This is so that their credit report would show all three credit bureaus. After your customer signs up, they just need to provide you with their login credentials, username, password, last four digits, social, or secret word. Now just in case you need to go ahead and add or update the credit monitoring credentials, you can click on view credentials right here. And this will show you the credit monitoring credentials pop up. Just go ahead and add the login credential information, or if you need to update the credentials, just click on edit so you can make your changes. Once you're done, just make sure to save. So once you're good with the credit monitoring company and you have the login credentials saved in the software, the software would automatically choose the report type based on the credentials that are saved. And then all you need to do is just click on quick import. The software would then go through the process of grabbing the data from the credit report. After the software is done pulling all the data from the credit report, it would go ahead and organize everything for you. So first you're going to see the credit score, and if you scroll down further, you'll find personal information, public records, negative accounts, and inquiries. Now there are sensitive information, so I'm going to have to blur it out, and I'm not going to be able to scroll through the credit report. But what you're going to see is public records and negative accounts are already pre-selected. But as for the inquiries, you would need to scroll down to the inquiry section for you to manually select the inquiries that you're going to import. Now if you just want to go ahead and import the collection account that you want to dispute, all you need to do is just scroll through this credit report, unselect everything else, and just leave the collection account that you want to import into the software. Once you're done, just go ahead and click on the import data right here. Now after you import the data, the software will go ahead and pull all the public records, negative accounts, and inquiries that you imported and it's going to add it to the add item screen. This is where you have a list of all the items that you're going to dispute. So now that you've successfully imported the credit report, let me go ahead and show you how you're going to prepare the item for dispute. So preparing and choosing items for dispute would be under the add item screen. All that you need to do to tell the software that you're going to work on that item is to go ahead and put it on the in dispute status. Now when you first import it, what you're going to see is there's going to be green dispute buttons for each of the items, just like this one right here. And if you want to go ahead and dispute or work on that item, all you need to do is just click on the green dispute button so it changes to in dispute. So if you're just going to work on one collection account, all you need to do is just put that collection account on in dispute. So now that your collection account is in dispute and ready, let's go ahead and move to the collectors tab. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to create a dispute for the collectors. So under the collectors tab, first you're going to find the furniture drop down. This is where you're going to find a list of all the items that you put on in dispute under the add item screen. So if you have multiple items on here and you want to go ahead and dispute for the collection account, just go ahead and choose the collection account from this list. Let's say this account right here. Now to show you how user friendly our software is, when you're creating a dispute letter for the collectors, you would need to know the address and where you're going to send the letter to. So you're going to have to search for the collector's address, which is on the actual credit report. Now for you to no longer go through the extra step of looking at the actual credit report, in the Client Dispute Manager software, we already have a database of furniture addresses. So all you need to do to add the collector's address to your dispute is click on the address search button right here. Next, you want to go ahead and search for the collector's name. And under the results, just go ahead and choose the address that you want to add to the letter. Let's say this is the address that you want to add to the letter. Just go ahead and click on this address and then click on add selected address to the letter down at the bottom. Just click yes on the confirmation pop up and you're good. The address is now added to your dispute. So now that you're done with the collector address, let's go ahead and continue creating the dispute. 
So let's go ahead and select the reason that we're going to use for this dispute. You can go ahead and select dispute reasons from our drop down. These are all the pre made reasons that we have in the software. Or you can go ahead and click on custom reason right here so you can manually add your own reason. Once you're done with reason, we're going to do the same thing for instructions. You can either choose from the drop down, which are the pre made instructions that we have in the software, or you can go ahead and click on custom instructions so you can manually add your own instruction. Once you're done with the reason and instruction that we're going to use for the dispute, the last step is to select a dispute letter. So you'll find these three categories. This is for you to access the letter templates for collectors in the software. Or if you don't want to use the collector letters in the software, you can go ahead and add and use your own letter. And that's going to be the manual letter option right here. So first you want to go ahead and add a manual letter. You can either add a manual letter directly from here. Just click on new manual letter. Or from the main menu, you can go to company. And then for the drop down, just go to letter vault. That's where you can access the manual letter section so you can manage all the manual letters that you're going to add to the software. Now once you've added your manual letter in the software and you want to go ahead and use it, just go ahead and put a check mark on manual letter. And this is how you can access your manual letter drop down. So all the manual letters that you saved under the collectors category, it's going to go ahead and show right here. Now let's say you don't have your own letter, then feel free to use the collectors letters that we have in the software. Now let's go ahead and go through each of these three categories and how you're going to select a software letter. So first you have dispute flow letters. This is a sequence of letters that you can go ahead and use, especially if it's your first time creating a dispute or if you want to create a quick dispute. So all you need to do is just follow the sequence, start from letter one and then work your way down to letter four. Next you have campaign letters. Campaign letters are account type specific letters. So if you want to go ahead and use a dispute letter directed to a collection account type, you can go ahead and look under campaign letters. Now unlike dispute flow, this is not a sequence. So each letter will be different with different versions. So how do you know which one you're going to choose? All you need to do is just preview the letter and see if the letter works for your dispute. To do that, just select the letter, let's say letter one, and then you can click on the preview icon right here. This would show you the letter template. And that's how you know if that letter fits your dispute. And then the last category, we have general letters. General letters, these are scenario based letters. So if you have a specific scenario that you're trying to dispute, you can go ahead and look for letters under general letters. So go ahead and choose a letter that you want to use. And same thing, if you want to go ahead and take a look at the letter, just select the letter and click on the preview icon for that category. Now, let's say you're good and you've already selected your dispute letter. If you're going to be using the letters in the software, when you click to preview the letter, you can go ahead and edit the letter as well. So if you need to make some changes to the letter, please feel free to do so. Just click on edit. And then from here, this is where you can modify the letter template. Just make sure not to remove these placeholders as they would automatically populate the data. You can also add images to your letters. Just go ahead and upload your image right here. And then once your image is uploaded, if you want to go ahead and add the image, you're just going to click and drag the image to your letter. And then once you're done modifying your dispute letter, just make sure to save it. Once the dispute letter is good to go, all you need to do is just click add your dispute and that's going to complete the dispute for that item. Now, if you want to go ahead and dispute another item, you just need to go through the same process. Just add your dispute and the second item would show down here. Now, once you're good with your dispute for the collector, just go ahead and click on send to print. And this is where you can choose what round you're currently on. Let's say round one. You can also select the set. This is if you're working on multiple items and you're working on batches. You can go ahead and use the set for you to easily identify which are the items for batch one, which are the items for batch two, and so on. And then you can also select the follow-up letter due. This is the amount of days that the software would wait until it would notify you that the letters are due for you to check for updates and results. Once you're done, just click on save and the software would go ahead and generate your dispute letter and it's going to bring it to the bulk print screen for you to print it out. To print your letter, just go to the bulk print screen. So from the main menu, just click on bulk print. Once you get to the bulk print screen, this is where you'll find your dispute letter for the collectors. You can go ahead and look at the letter before you print it out. You can also edit the letter if you need to make some quick changes. And then once you're good, just click on the print button down here at the bottom so you can manually print your dispute letter and go to the post office to mail it out. Now, of course, if you don't want to go to the post office, you can do a print automation in the client dispute manager software. All you need to do is just integrate a third party printing company, which is called Letterstream. And this would allow you to send your letters over to Letterstream so they're the ones who's going to process, print, and mail out your letters for you. Now for you to access the print automation, you can go from the main menu, just click on company. And then from the drop down, just click on notify slash automation. Once you get to the notify slash automation screen, just click on one click print automation with Letterstream. And this is where you can set up Letterstream to do a one click print automation. 
Please watch the step-by-step -step training videos that we prepared to know more on how you're going to integrate LetterStream into the software. And that's how you can create a dispute letter for the collectors using the Client Dispute Manager software. So that concludes our training video. Hi there, we're giving you a free gift. You can get 20 powerful dispute letters just by clicking on the link below this video. You're going to see a screen just like this, and all you need to do is just fill out the form to get your 20 powerful dispute letters. Enjoy!